Hi, I'm Mark Harris. I'm here today to talk to you about the Technetics T2 Professional Metal Detector. It's a pretty neat piece of technology. We're going to show you how to assemble it and use it today. What you see here are all the unboxed components of the unit. We have the search coil with its cable. We have the lower arm, the upper arm, and the control unit trigger computer and armrest. We have the uh, screw capture that connects the search coil to the arms. They've thoughtfully provided a couple of cable ties so that you don't have this flopping around getting caught on things as you're searching. And uh, there's really only one connection after everything is, is put together. And you'll notice there's a small divot on the top of the plug so it's virtually impossible to assemble this incorrectly. First step in the assembly, I'm going to take what they call the lower stem and I'm going to insert it into the search coil. It's kind of a tight fit. Uh, friction will keep this from flopping around. I'm going to capture it in here with this screw and nut. So you just have to fiddle with it slightly where it feeds through. Tighten that down, thumb pressure. I wouldn't torque this down too tightly because these caps are plastic and it's not really intended to be tightened down permanently because depending on the surfaces that you're going to be searching in, you may want to adjust the angle of this. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to attach the upper stem to the lower stem. Now you'll notice this spring-loaded button. This is to allow you to adjust the height of the unit during use easily. You'll see on one end there's a silver button, on the other end there's a plastic nut. We're going to take these holes, make sure they're facing the same direction as this silver button, slip it over, push it in, you'll see it come out, click into place. For the time being we're just going to tighten this down and remember just finger tight, you don't need to wrench for this. Next I'm going to take the main unit that houses the armrest, the display, operation trigger, going to look for that same hole here. I'm going to match up the direction with the top. You loosen that just a bit. I'm going to slide this in, press that button, pop. Tighten this finger tight. Just a couple more steps. I'm going to take this cable and I'm going to wrap it fairly loosely around. Not tightly because remember this is made to be adjustable. On this plug, you'll notice a cut in the top. If you look at the jack, there's a very small raised area in the back that faces this curve. So what we're going to do, we're going to line that up, slip it right in, tighten it down with this nut. To give you an idea of the level of detail that Technetics puts into these units, they've included some Velcro wraps to tie the cable down. One for the bottom, and one for the top. Okay, what's left? Portable electricity. You're going to need four AA batteries. Manufacturer says that a set of alkalins will give you about 40 hours worth of use. Manual says that the positive terminal faces forward on all four units. Close the cover, and you're ready to go. And that's the assembly of the Technetics T2. If you'd like to see the operation, please check out our other video. I'm Mark Harris. Thanks for watching.